Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about using CSS fonts in Pixie.js applications here. All right, so I have here a basic stub that creates a Pixie application and throws it onto uh, the body. All right, and doing text uh, isn't a difficult thing. I mean, if you've done some text before, you might have used a font style with Arial or Courier or some of the standard fonts that might be on a, on a computer system. But what if you want a custom font? Uh, especially like CSS ones, maybe like grab something from Google or someplace like that. Uh, and I, I'm going to go to someplace called Font Freak, and I'm going to search for something called Arcade because I'm doing a little retro arcade game type thing. So search for that, and there'll be a couple things that come up. And so we got this one here. So I'll, I like this Arcade Classic, so I'll go and download that. All right. So once it downloads, I can click on this link. There's a font. I'll unpack it, and we'll simply see a uh, true type font in here. And so I'm going to basically go to this folder. I have my project. Make a new folder here called font and drop this TTF in there. Okay. So now we're done with that. We can close this down. And in the meantime, let's just go go live here so we can actually see something. And right there, so that's our base project with our canvas available. And as you can see here, I have a, my font folder, and there's my rkclassic.ttf. All right. So first things first, we'll have to add it to the, uh, you know, in, into our project. And uh, we'll just use a standard CSS for that. So we'll put a style tag up here. And we'll create a font-face. And we'll just do real, go real simple. We'll just go uh, font-family. And we'll just call this arcade. And we will do an SRC URL, and we're going to go basically give it the path of font slash arcade classic dot TTF. Okay, just like that. So now that we have it, we'll actually create a text object here. And so I'll, I'll special something out here, text one, for example, here. And we'll use this a text text one dot oh, equals new pixie dot text, and uh, we'll just maybe put some text in here. So welcome to your doom. There we go. And we'll set the x to the app dot view dot width divided by two, and text dot y equals app dot view dot height divided by two, right? So that makes it centered. We'll also set the anchor set anchor dot set 0.5. Okay. Now is where we have to specify the style for what we want to use. So we'll do a new pixie dot text style. And we'll give it a, some JSON properties here. Uh, so we'll do a fill of zero. Well, let's see. Let's make it. Um, let's make it red. All right, comma. And then we'll say font size. We'll say forty. And we'll do a font. This is the important part now. Here, font family. We'll give it the name that we specified up here, which is arcade. In here. And let's see, do you want to stroke it at all? Nah, we'll just leave it as is. We'll just do that. All right. And then lastly, we want to put it on the stage, right? App.stage. Dot at child. Text one. Oops. I just realized these don't have the one. Oops. One, one, one. There we go. Add the stage. And that's it. So now if we save this and look at our stuff, hey, that doesn't look right. So what happened? Well, this is an interesting thing. We have a, a caching issue that's going on. So even though the font has been loaded, all right, it um, doesn't get utilized until we actually utilize it. So watch this. If I actually were to say put a uh, div tag over here and we set the NC scope. Uh, let's put, put like a letter A up here, for example. And we'll give this an ID of, let's see, uh, use font. All right, so we'll go up here and we'll specify a use font. 
All right, and uh, all we're gonna do in this part here is we'll actually just wind up using it, right? So let's say it's basically font family. All right, arcade and font size. Let's just show, show for sake of argument, 10 point. So if I see it now, there, now it works. Now notice that what happens up here is in this little top corner here, there's our little A, all right? And our text is available now. So our font becomes available. So there's an interesting little problem. And it basically has something to do with the way, the way the caching works for fonts. It just seems like it just, it doesn't, uh, won't initialize until it's actually used. And so you kind of have to have this kind of part here that actually uses that font. And we, uh, what you can do is you can actually uh, change this to like zero pixels, for example, and then it'll kind of get rid of it and your font is now available to you. So that's kind of how you use a, uh, a font in your uh, Pixie.js application. You know, not, not overly complicated. You still include it like uh, you would normal CSS. You have to kind of apl uh, apply it to some sort of element that you can basically hide. So for example, my font size is zero and my div has no particular CSS to it, so it's not really visible. Now, one thing you cannot do though, is uh, you cannot do a display none. It's not gonna work. If I were to, do, to basically do a display none, it, um, oh, this if I split, display none, it doesn't work. So it has to be something that's rendered on the DOM. So it has to be visible. So just because I have a div that actually uses it, even though it's zero point, but this display none makes it invisible. So it, it it doesn't initialize the font. So you cannot just hide it. So we can't just do this. So once again, it has to be used somewhere in order to get the font to show. All right, so hopefully that helps you out. And uh, you, know, you can use this to find any particular interesting fonts you want, like from Font Freak or some other sources like Google Fonts. And you can make it, uh, you know, make it tailored to your game experience.